heading over to France. Hopefully it'll be cheaper over there. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be a bit longer coming back, love. I need to sell a kidney for that one. Yeah. So we've made it to Folkestan. <laughs> Thursday today, uh, we've come a day early because tomorrow morning we've got to do the... Animal health certificate That's for it. Pebbles. Yeah, so we found a vet in Folkestan. Well, I say we found one, we were recommended one. Yeah. Um, so we've done everything already. We've sent it off online, we've paid for it, done all that. It's just a case of picking it up and checking the cat yeah. over before we are allowed to uh, go to Dover, isn't it? Yeah, so it was £100 cheaper for us to do the animal health certificate in Folkestone than yeah. what it was if we did it with our local vets. Um, and apparently yeah. she's quite popular with people going there, so obviously they're well known. So that's yeah. why we've come up here a day early. Yeah, and I'm well happy because now I can have a glass of wine, cut the cat. Chill for the evening, and we'll see you in the morning when mm -hmm. we go get that animal health certificate. So we're in Folkestone, we've got pebbles, we've got our stuff. Let's hope I've done this properly now online so I can get his health certificate. So, fantastic news, I managed to get hold of the AHC and we're now hitting the road for Dover. So we've just hit a load of traffic, we've got two sat-navs on the go. We're three and a half miles away from Dover and there seems to be a lorry protest going on um, which is delaying traffic by about six hours. So I've just had another text from P&O Cruises. They've said that when you get to the port and you basically you hit the, the queue for getting onto your ferry, there's a minimum three to four hour wait before you'll get through border checks. So they have said if you miss the boat that you are designated to go on that you will go on the next available one but i think that's really positive yeah because i was worried that if we missed the boat we missed the boat 11 o'clock now if we get on our boat which is i think is about 20 past five this afternoon i'll be surprised but at least we know at some point we yeah. are going to get on one i just hope it's not like two in the morning and we're getting a france a stupid time and we then got to find somewhere to park up and sleep it is what it is until it isn't i should have got the channel Check in, it's just there. We might just make our ferry now. Do you reckon? Possibly, yeah. Uh, How amazing would that be? It's two, three, four, four. Yeah, it's four hours till our ferry, so we should do it. That would be class. I really want to see the White Cliffs of Dover from the ferry as well. So, obviously, if we can get the normal time, that means it'll be light enough, which would be lush. But yeah, it's carnage around here, and I think we've done incredibly well to make it this far. Oh my god, White Cliff. I've never seen the White Cliffs of Dover. I'm hoping for a better view than that, mind. Do you want to tell them what shall I love? Tell them what? Oh, oh the White Cliffs of Dover. yeah. Charles honestly thought they were painted until I just told him, no, that's the natural stone. I thought it would be a bit awkward for people to get up on the cliffs, to be fair, and paint them, and I was quite impressed. <laughs> Charlie strikes again. <laughs> So you can't actually make it up. It's taken us since nine o'clock to get through border control and do all the stuff on the ferries. And it's quarter to three, so six hours nearly. And we've had some cracking news, haven't we? Yeah, we're getting on an earlier ferry, believe Yay! it or not. So they told us to give three to four hours from when you check in to here. And realistically, it's taken us about an hour and a half. And yeah. you just said you want the five past four ferry. I was like, yes, please. Yes. Yeah, I'm super excited. That so means we can that. we can get over there a bit earlier. Yeah. You'll be able to settle in an air um, and not have and the stress. This was a nice little touch from Piano Ferries. He goes these for the kids. He's given us three packs of yeah. uh, something to obviously entertain the kids. So I was impressed with that. He was a nice guy. Yeah, he was nice. There you go, guys. Have one of one of them each from Piano Ferries. Coloring in and that. Oh, that's lovely, that, that is. Yeah, happy with that. And you're so, looking happier now as well. Oh, I'm not going to lie, right? The lane, you when we first come in just before the French border control, our lane, at the end of our lane, we had cones that we, so we had to then divert into the right lane. And we were watching all these cars on the side of us just disappear. I was getting proper wound up. Like, yeah, it's been really stressful. I mean, six up. hours to cover 10 miles from Folkestone. It's just been ridiculous. But we're on our way now. So, you know, holiday mode. Road, clicked in, yeah. commenced, we're off. Next stop, 
the fairy. <laughs> we're going to go and have a day in Bruges it looks amazing it looks like there's quite a bit of history there so really keen to show you guys around it and we're just about to cross into we're Belgium. just about oh. to cross the border we're literally now in Belgium <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I missed the blinking border <laughs> oh gutted never mind anyway we're in Belgium we're going to show you around hopefully you'll enjoy it so we've made it to Bruges and it's absolutely phenomenal here. So far we have already seen so many beautiful things. There are bridges everywhere. So there's 80 in total in the city and we've already seen souvenir wise that it's famous for lace, it's famous for its Belgian waffles and it also loves the potatoes here. So you can uh, always find chips and mayonnaise aplenty. So we're literally just having a brilliant day walking around. in Bruges. I'm so excited this place is amazing. It is stunning it's very pretty very authentic lots of people as well. Mm. They call it the Venice of the North and uh, you really can see why from the b-roll there you know there's literally canals everywhere. It is Boat. absolutely stunning. The year we're staying at is really close it was about a 10 minute walk and we were getting right into the center of Bruges. Now some of you might have noticed we are actually traveling with another couple so some of you may recognize them it's actually Jen and Nick. So say hi guys. Hey guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Can you believe they're putting up with us five for their holidays? Yeah ah. so this mad pair decided to join us on our Europe tour. Yeah. So what is it six to eight weeks of madness? craziness it, it will be madness it's very hot today as well so it is a warm one but yeah. it's lush <laughs> so we're gonna go have a look a bit more of Bruges oh look at this so this is why they say that Bruges is like the Venice of the North babe it's lovely isn't it? stunning Careful. Where? Where? I can't see him. Where? 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 Oh, look at that. Chocolates and happiness. <laughs> Fresh waffles. Should we go have a look at him? Yes. Come on then. Okay. Got me a local bruised beer called Bruise Soft and it's nice and cold. Do you want to try some now? Yes, please. <laughs> Can we have another one of them, please? Do you want another one? Yeah, I'll have one of them. Thank you very much. Nice. Looks lovely. Yes. Look at all that. Oh, they're cool. Waffles on sticks. They look amazing. So, as part of the city, you can get on these boats that take you through all the waterways that go around the city, and it's absolutely stunning. Very, very old buildings. Beautiful. Absolutely blowing us away. It's what a place, isn't yeah. it? And you might hear in the background one of the. I don't know, I'm going to call it a cathedral. 
is ringing its bells, but look at the size on this. That's a wedding. Someone's just got married. Oh, how lush. A legend tells the story of a young and pretty girl named Minna who was in love with Stromberg, a warrior of a neighbouring tribe. Her father didn't agree with her love and arranged her to marry a man of his choice, so Minna escaped and ran into the forest. When Stromberg finally found her, she died in his arms of exhaustion. The lake was named after Minna and the bridge by the lake was considered the bridge of love in her honour. So we're back at the air. The air we've stayed at is actually within the city of Brews and it was just the other side of the river. So it's a 10 minute walk from this air to get into the city centre. So I'll drop the three words link in below for that one because it's a fantastic aid if you plan on visiting Bruges. The city is just north of here but we've noticed there's a path that goes alongside the river down south. So me and Nick are gonna get the scooters out and go and have a look. This ice scooter, it's the ice scooter i9 foldable, was sent to us by Is In Wheels. Now Is In Wheels have agreed for a discount for you guys for this. So I'll put the discount below and the link in the description and that will give you a tenner off the price. But to be fair, it's priced pretty well to start with. So this is the standard i9 that priced at 274.99. We haven't brought any of the bikes away with us on this trip. We've only brought the scooter because it's a lot lighter, it's smaller, so that if we need to go to a shop, and it's a bit of a distance away, we can take the scooter, because as most of you will know, in the European Union, e-scooters are legal. Now, in Britain, there is legislation coming into place to make these legal, but we're a little bit off doing that. They need to catch up with the rest of the EU. So it's got a 350 watt motor, which is in the front wheel. You've got disc brakes on the rear, and then there's an electronical braking system on the front. One thing I do like about it, and this is why we've brought it on the trip with us, is how small it folds. You literally just pull up the safety clip for here, pull that forward, and that locks into place like that. And then on the other side, you've got your charging port is just here and a little kickstand. It's got a fixed front light there. And then it's got a rear light and when I push the brake, flashes. <laughs> so it was a tough start to our Euro trip, but we made it. Yeah, it, it was full of emotions, full of stress, full of worry. You know, we, we were fortunate enough that we did actually make it across. I know there's some people this weekend who still haven't made it across or yeah. they've had to travel in really rubbish situations. So it's not really on. Uh, good luck to those of you that are trying to get over there. We hope you've made it by now. Yes, definitely. Um, um, and you wasn't sick. Oh, she wasn't sick. I felt I felt awful, but to be honest with you, I just didn't want to show myself up, did I? <laughs> I was quite impressed. She did really well because when we did the Irish ferry a couple of years ago, you was rough, wasn't you? Yeah. In fact, any big boat we've been on, you have been rough every time. Yeah, to the point where I can't stand up. I literally am <laughs> just fixated on yep. that. We'll horizon. all be down below deck, and she'll be up top over the side freezing cold yeah <laughs> <laughs> but we're here so yeah. we, this is our first day here it's the end of our very first full day here yeah so sorry if the video is a little bit shorter than usual as you can appreciate we spent so much time on the road to get here this week but we still wanted to show you where we were and what we were up to so i thought it was a good first day i really enjoyed it oh it was stunning we got we, we, have, we don't know exactly how long we're going to be out here for we're saying about four to six weeks 
So we've hit Belgium. Obviously, we wanted to see Bruges. 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 And you know, we've got Germany to do. We've got Austria. We've got Slovenia. Yes. We want to do the Alps. So we've got a lot to pack into our trip. The adventure starts today. Yeah. So join us next Sunday for the adventure where it continues. <laughs> Until next time, guys. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Ta, guys.